This is a microcontroller powered prime number generator. The microcontroller I'm using is an AT Tiny 2313 microcontroller directly connected to a character LCD that's HD44780 compatible. Uh, also in this image are the intricate programmer and the reset button which are used during the programming of the microcontroller but are not actually serving any functions while the program is running and generating prime numbers. In order to understand the output on the screen, we have to first understand how it's generating prime numbers. Unfortunately, there's no easy mathematical formula to simply generate a list of prime numbers. Instead, we have to generate a list of all numbers and then test them for primeness. This program generates numbers from 1 to 2 to the 25th power, or a little bit over 33 and a half million, and tests every number along the way for primeness. The top number represents the most recently identified prime number. The bottom left number, or the try number, represents the number currently being tested for primeness. And the divisor, on the bottom right, shows all of the numbers that are currently being divided into the test number to check for primeness. These three numbers are numbers which I would eventually like to express in a binary form, rather than simply displaying them as characters on an LCD. So let's turn it on and see what it looks like. Here we reset the program and it starts from zero. You can see it rapidly cycling through all of the tested numbers for primeness and as it runs it adds the located prime numbers to the top row. Now let's fast forward in time a little bit and now we can see the numbers are getting larger and because each number has a larger number of divisors to test it for primeness it starts to get slower and slower as the numbers get larger and larger. Keep in mind that a major limitation for the speed of this program is not the mathematics being performed on the chip, but rather the special timing and calculations required to actually put this data on the LCD. As a rough estimate, I would say that 90% of the processing power being used right now is actually being used in controlling the LCD screen and not in the math itself. A binary type of data representation system using almost a hundred LEDs to represent numbers in binary form would be a lot more efficient and allow a more rapid calculation process with the same processor.